folks today uh, we're gonna be rigging up this Lee's tackle center rigger on the Albemarle uh, 30 Express this so. basically is a standard Lee's tackle center rigger setup um, it comes in three segments the base and it is secured with the line guide on a bolt with a uh, nylon uh, washer and it's of a specific length so as you go further along in the rigger and the rigger gets narrower progressively smaller bolt as you go up same size uh, eye guide progressively smaller bolt up to the tip here and uh, the last piece here is the cone that finishes off the rigger here so once you get all that assembled you then have to string up the rigger and then mount it up into the uh, the rigger the center rigger mount which is right in the center of your uh, of your boat we are going to go ahead and pre-string the rigger and then we're going to mount it in place and then size the line for the center rigger all right we have our 400 pound mono i'm going with black uh, i think black stays looking the cleanest the longest shows the least amount of wear so that's what we're going with in this configuration start from the top guide proceed through the middle guide and finalize here on the end guide we will bring this back up the ladder and uh, get it back in the mounting position Got it back in its position. All right, folks, we've got the rigger pre-strung. We're gonna go down now and right size the rig and start putting the hardware in place. Look, so this is what we're looking at for hardware. So, um, of course, the essentials are your line protectors, your chafing protectors, your loop protectors, and your crimps. That will go on your line, fastening your 350 pound stainless steel ball bearing swivels of course the ball stop will go up here preventing the, your rigger line from going through the top guide and this is your outrigger clip your outlet rigger release clip securing this to the bottom of the line is going to be a single rig how lock on a 12 inch bungee strap this is the part of the rigger line that's coming from the bottom of the loop here i fastened a piece of 400 pound mono around my chair loop that's what i'm gonna use as my base for the center rigger here in my application of course you'll have to find in your specific application your own uh, position to fasten the center rigger line we are going to begin to run the bottom of the clip through the bottom half of the rigger so of course what we're going to need is a, cha a chafing guide which we're going to run on like this right here oh sorry a line protector then we are going to run a crimp and then we are going to run a loop protector like like so all right so this is going to be pretty straightforward here because you're going to do all your snugging on the far end, right? So what we want to make sure is when the guide trips, it trips out and away from, from the boat, towards the back of the boat. So in that, in that case, what we're going to do is run this loop protector like so. I mean, run the line through the swivel like this. Go ahead and secure it into the crimp and snug it down. We're going to go ahead and get our crimp our crimping tool pardon me and give it a nice crimp so that that is secured boom there you go we're going to take this line protector and run it up over the sharp end of that tab there you go this is the far end of the line that comes out of the top of the center rigger here so what we're going to do is we are going to put on the ball stop I chose blue this time I just wanted to be different it doesn't matter what color whatever color suits you and we are going to put on here the line protector we are going to put on here the crimp 
and we are going to put on here the loop protector okay I feel like that's a decent amount of pressure right there like that right so I think that's good we're getting close here we're gonna go ahead and take the tag end we're gonna take the tag end and run it up the crimp and then we're gonna start finalizing the tension on this there we go and we are gonna go ahead and crimp that snug just like this let's grab the crimping tool and let's crimp it down we'll go this way for the sake of uh, comfort there we go this tag end put the line protector over all right line protector here we go all right so there we go I got my anchor point, which is, this is very unique to my boat, this anchor point. Of course, you'll have to find the anchor point for your center rigger that meets your purposes. So here's the 12 inch how lock on a bungee. And it locks like this, locking action. So once you extend this, you can lock it in place. All right, folks. So in my application of my center rigger, which runs all the way up to the center there, so this is the center rigger right here so it mounts up here underneath the uh, underneath the tower chair and you can see here I have the rigger line running through the three guides which is here here and at the tip of the center rigger so it's 400 pound mono and it runs down here to the anchor point so for my anchor point, I'm using the, the arm of my chair. It's aluminum. I'm not going to mess up my leather this way. I have a 300, sorry, I have a 400 pound mono uh, uh, crimp line off here. And I'm attaching this, my 12 inch single rigged halyard. It's a how lock style, so I could lock it in place if I want it to not move when it's deployed. And then I can unlock it when I want to deploy it. And as you can see here, I have the line protector, chafing loop, 350 pound swivel, outrigger release clip to another 350 pound swivel to a chafing loop protector here, line protector over the crimp and a ball stop. So this is what it looks like when I go to deploy it, okay? I deploy it all the way out for my long shot to the tip of the outrigger just like that it stops at the ball and then I come back down here to the halyard lock it in place so it doesn't get uh, pulled around by the bait or by a fish when it goes to the hook all right so that's what a center rigger rig looks like and uh, looking forward to getting a lot of good use out of it this summer and there you go another point is, is I have my center rigger line mounted this way so it's actually back out of the fishing space so as you can see here I can walk all around the cockpit and not have to worry about contending with the center rigger line it will not be in the uh, way of people walking around it will not be in the way of anyone uh, dancing on the dance floor here with a rod and reel and uh, it definitely will get in the way of uh, anyone trying to cast either so that's why I did it this way hopefully this helps those of you who are uh, rigging your center riggers or thinking about getting one and thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you found this helpful